Okay, hello internet, my name is Winter, and today I will be showing you what's in my makeup bag. And also within this video, I will be showing you what's in my um, makeup collection. It's not very big, but I thought I'd just do this for fun, because why not? I'm at home, it's quarantine, I have nowhere else to go, so I'm going to do this video. So starting with this bag, this is a brand from Estee Lauder, I got this for my grandma. So I'm going to start opening this. And in here, it's not just makeup, but I also keep like some of my skincare stuff in here when I do my makeup. So starting with a towel that I got from TJ Maxx after the Halloween sale. So it was only like $2 for a set of... Two? No, actually, one. It's like a dollar for each. So, yeah, I got this from TJ Maxx, or you can get this at Marshalls or Ross. I also keep my um acne scare um serum because I am very acne prone, and I have this cleanser. It's oh, simple. And for my other skincare stuff, I use a cleansing balm because well, I still use makeup oil from time to time, but I I just like a uh, cleansing balm. I feel like it's better for my skin. Sorry, the white is like hard to read. And for this cleansing balm, oh wait, I need to get this to clear. Okay, now it's clear. Uh, this is the cleansing balm that I use. I don't know where to buy this. I got this at Burlington, and this is a Korean brand. And, yeah, some of the ingredients in here, I cannot read Korean. So, if you want to look it up, you might have to find that yourself. But I got this at Burlington. And the next skincare items I got. Um, Sometimes, if I feel like I want to cut my skin, I get these two face masks. I got these at um, either TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. I like these. They're, like, they're not bad. It's like, okay, I keep my skin hydrated. And I would consider this as skincare. It's just like a lip scrub that I got at Ulta. It's the brand Fizz and Bubble. So yeah, I used this to, well, you know what it's for. Now on to the makeup stuff. So starting with on top, this is the um, KBD um, blush. I don't just use this as blush, but I still use it as eyeshadow. I uh, have primer. I, I don't really wear foundation, but I just keep it in here just in case if I were to carry foundation with me. And the uh, next thing I got is this BH Cosmetic. Uh, I don't know what's, wait. I don't know how to um say what this collection is. Wait, wait. Oh wait, Trendy on trendy in Tokyo. Yeah, that's the name. It's just one colorful palette that I like to keep just in case. And, of course, I keep other palettes, so I have options. The next palette I have is... Okay, this is from Julie's Place. Wait, this sticker. I got it from Baffin, uh, Baffin Body Works. It's from the Halloween edition. So, after I'm done using the soap, I just get the sticker and just cover it. And it just, like, it just matches the aesthetic. I just did that for that reason. So, yeah, here's the Julie's Place palette. It's just these colors. They were pretty fine. And the next thing I got is this Drop Dead Gorgeous Bit Psycho palette. Out of all the pal palettes, this one's my favorite. I use this one quite a lot. Oh yeah, for the other palette, I should probably show you what's inside too. Hold on, I'm using one hand for this. Oh shit. Okay, there you go. I say it works okay, except I actually have a hard time using the um the two yellow colors. It's a little bit um hard to work with, but everything else is like it works okay. And maybe like sometime with the um this color right here, I just need like primer and then it works a little bit better. But everything else is like okay. All right, the next thing I have is this. Okay, uh, this was actually the um Too Faced palette, but I decided to um be creative and decide to customize it myself. So this was the um, Too Faced, uh, I forgot the name of the um, palette, but this is some um, berry one right here. I like these tones. And I just put like little stickers, like, in the mirror. So yeah, I actually like this palette. The next thing I got is this um, KBD Crush on Blush. I just use this as eyeshadow as well. And I got this at the Ross for only $7. So it's like, also just underneath is that retail store, so I don't have to buy it at full price. But there are some exceptions, such as a temporary And the next thing I got is this um, skull lip balm. Well, it's kind of like an EOS thing. Hold on, let me open it. So I'm using one hand. So yeah, it's just like this. It's really cute and it's pretty minty. I only got this for $5 at Ulta. All right, the next palette I got is this sugar crystal. This one is one of my favorites too. In case I want like the next, another. Uh, you guys, it's cute. Hold on, I'm going to open the lip balm stickers in here. Kind of the bottom row as highlights, and yeah, it works pretty well. It's very, very pigmented. For the other palette, for this one, the yellow, the yellow right here is it actually works a lot better than the other one. So, for if I need yellow, I like this one better. That's just my opinion, of course. Uh, next thing I got is well, the next lip liner because I do wear black lipstick. Okay, I got this um KBD. Uh, oh god, how do you say this? It's like a super, I think it's a pot, I don't know how to say it, but you. I'll call this like a pigment. Yeah, that's what it is. So I use this for like as eyeshadow as well. Next thing I got is this um MAC blush. For a second, I thought it was um eyeshadow, but then when I read in the back, it does say blush. Oh, man, sorry, my phone. How do you get this to clear up? Uh, oh well, I don't know how to make it clear, but I got this like two years ago, so it's probably pretty old, but I just still kept it. And for one like for one blush, this is very like expensive for me. Like I can't believe I paid like 14 bucks for this. I mean, maybe it's not expensive for you guys, but to me, that's pretty expensive. 
Yeah, the rest are makeup brushes. Uh, more makeup brushes. Uh, don't plan in case I do want to shave my eyebrows a little bit. Or, well, something else too. So I'll keep that aside. Next, I got these, um, KVD's, um, lipsticks. Uh, it comes with, like, a whole set. These two are for me. The other two, like, if you know the colors, I don't know if I put a picture below somewhere in here. But there's, like, another two set of lipstick. So I give those to my sister. Because she likes those colors. And I'm just giving, like, these red tunes. Next is these, um, KVD's, like, Everlasting liquid lipsticks i like these colors this is what i usually wear most of the time but when i'm um, the pandemic and everything it's hard for me to wear lipsticks even more so i just wear it for fun whenever whenever i'm at home and last but not least uh i don't think lancome like sell this but i got this at um i got this at a random shop and it looked like this it's white but when you apply it to your um lip i think it is the ph of your lips or i don't know how it works but this one gives out like a, a pink tone on it let me try to show you with my hand i don't know if i can get it to work oh no crap no uh Okay, well, it was two years old anyways. So, yeah, if you see, like, the little pink tone on my hand, it goes that with my lip, but no! I actually like this! No! <laughs> oh, great. Okay, I, I guess I had to find a new one. <laughs> okay. But be careful with this one also because it's very, very soft, as you can see. So, uh, great. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for my, um, what's in my makeup bag. Now, I will show you the rest of my collection for, like, the other makeup stuff. It's not really big. I... Like this. So, this is like the other stuff I got. So, yeah, it is. That's just the um, packaging for this. I just. This one is. Yep, this is the um, Vampora. Wait, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah. Now I just call this Vampire. Why can't I get this to clear? Oh, I don't know how I get this to work. Come on, please work. Okay, well. My phone don't want to clear up, so I'll just show you the colors for this one. I think... Oh, no, 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 wait, that's not Vampire. Okay. This is the um, eggplant color, so it's like kind of like a deep purple color. Oh, shit, I can't even read. Okay. Okay, the next one I got is... Okay, this one is the um, Vampire color one. So here's the other one. Just like a, a deep red. I read this from time to time. Hopefully when the, hopefully when the um, pandemic is over, I can get sticks. But right now, I cannot. And I know nobody really wears this color, but I like it. I wear it sometimes. This is, um, I'm gonna say like a lilac color. So yeah, I wear this from time to time. Nobody likes it, but I do. Again, some of these lipsticks, I got these like on sale. I don't buy makeup at full price. I just wait for the sale. Next is this, um, Anastasia Beverly Hill mini lipstick. It's in the color, uh, Plumeria. Okay. So yeah, it's just like another, like, berry tone mini lipstick. Although for me, it's a little bit dry. So you might want to wear like extra lip balm or moisture in your lips. Now, these are the Too Faced collection ones, and I just, like, keep it for the aesthetic, so I don't really wear it as much. So, just sometimes. This is just a sparkly purple one. So, yeah. And I think these are two years old, but I can't bring myself to throw them away, because I just keep it for the packaging. Out of all of them, I didn't wear this one the most, because it doesn't show too much sparkle in my lips, in my opinion, but I prefer it that way. So, yeah, here's, like, the other Too Faced one. I got these at um, more store for $5. And this one, uh, well, this one's empty. I just checked the packaging, so just nothing in here. Okay, next I got this Wet n Wild uh, Rose Palette, like Rebel Rose. I like these ones. They're like, okay, in case I need to grab something quick. Okay, I also got this, um, Liquid Lip Collection, and I only got this for 7 wait, is it $7? Wait, wait, let me see the price. Oh, this is the price, so yeah, it's not that bad, at least in my opinion. Okay, that's not makeup, that's just a salon. Okay, next is this, um, Harry Potter Yellow Eyeliner. Um, actually, my sister... Plus, I kind of broke it, so... Oh, oh, wait, never mind. I fixed it. Never mind. I thought I broke this. Okay. Uh, next is to some Too Faced foundation. Again, I don't really wear foundation unless I'm doing, like, a... If I'm taking pictures or something, this works better as, like, camera makeup. But I'm still trying to look for, like, a good foundation for me to wear daily. That's... That keeps me hydrated. I also got these from the clearance. It's only, like, $5 for each. So these are the um, KVD's, um, pigments. So these are the colors. Okay, finally, I can get these to clear up. So, yeah. These are the colors. I actually like these colors, so whenever, if I want to do, like, a fetal juice look, I got these two colors. Next is this palette. It's, like, okay. I just, again, I kind of just bought this for the packaging. But, hold on, let me get this out. So, yeah, I also waited for this to go on sale. It's, like, hmm, it's okay. But I'm still going to keep it. I think out of all the colors, I'll probably wear the purple one. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep that. Okay, I got, like, 
Oh, back up liquid lipstick. Oh, just put back. Some. Excuse me. Uh, just some lip liners. This one's from Maybelline. I just got this at the clearance for a dollar. And that's where the other lip liners, they're from KVD as well, but I waited for them to go on sale. Except for, hold on, I think there was one color that I thought that was full price. Which one was it? Oh yeah, it was the, um, blood milk. <coughs> Sorry. This is, um, blood milk color. Why can't I get this to clear up? Oh no, where's the name? Sorry, I'm like blind. I need my glasses to see stuff. To see how close. Uh, you know what? That's not gonna work. Okay, so yeah, some lip liners. And these. Uh, I got these at Burlington, and I bought it because I don't know what was I thinking. So here are the colors for these. It turns out the do you call them like pigment stick pencils or pigment pencils? So I tried them and I don't like the color. But if I were to draw like a heart on my face, like on my cheeks, then maybe it's okay for that. But if it's like on my lip or my eye, no. In fact, it's hard to like get these off too. It stays on you. But I'm going to keep it just for decoration. And the last three items I got are these palettes. I got this one at Hot Topic at the clearance for five dollar. These are the colors. Uh, they work pretty much okay. It's not like amazing or anything, but it gets the job done. But I just kept it for the packaging, so if I'm not using it, I can display it in my um, makeup area. The next thing I got is this Beetlejuice one, and I actually like the colors. It works pretty well, in my opinion. So, yeah, they look, it's okay. Just a little bit. It's a little bit chalky, but if you can make it work, then it should be fine. And the last palette I got is this BH. Uh, my sister told me about this YouTuber, I don't know her, but uh, it was Sylvia. Yeah, so Sophia Ghani. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I actually really love this palette. This one's out of all the palettes that I also got, this one's my favorite. Uh, let me get this open. Okay, so it's pretty much these um tones. And I don't know, to me this one like it screws off to me, like the two bottom rows, and as for the um, top rows, if I want to look normal, like for my parents, whenever I'm doing um whenever I go with family, I just look look normal, get these two rolls of colors and make the look really nice look. And if I want to look off, I got these two bottom rows right here. So yeah, this is like my favorite palette. Favorite to the point that I bought two of them. Two more. One here and one someplace else. Because I need backup. So yeah, my bed is now a mess. So this is pretty much the products that I own. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.